Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Nosferatu. Happy birthday to you. Okay, blow out the candles. Blow out the candles. Blow out the damn candles. You're getting a little close there, man. You're getting a little... Hey, hey, hey. Nos hey, hey, oh, oh no. shit. You're on fire. Oh, no. Oh, no. Nosferatu's on fire. Oh. Hello and welcome to this special birthday celebration of Frightfully Forgotten. Nosferatu turns 100 years old and he can't be with us today. He's in the hospital with first degree burns. <laughs> the burn ward. Yeah. <laughs> Shitty uh, three dollar cake here <laughs> to celebrate. Let's, let's see what this is like. I'll have a little taste here. <laughs> it's probably good. Not bad. Before we get started, what are we drinking? Count Orlock Secret Stash. <laughs> oh, yeah. It is fittingly a centennial smash. So, the reason we wanted to celebrate Nosferatu's 100th birthday because it's like a milestone in horror. Probably safe to say that Nosferatu is the first real iconic horror movie of all time. Nosferatu himself is probably the first horror icon of all time. Some horror movies before Nosferatu, but they didn't have the amount of fame, I think, that Nosferatu has. Yeah, all those other ones are forgotten. This yeah. one still, everybody remembers it, right? Yeah, like even like the 1910 version of Frankenstein was lost for many years, and it predates Nosferatu, but it's not nearly as iconic. Versions of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde that came out too, but yeah, none of them really stood the test of time the way Nosferatu does. If you ask somebody, what is the oldest horror movie ever, you probably think it must be Nosferatu. Most people would probably say Nosferatu. Yeah. The movie is uh, just kind of a loose adaptation of the Bram Stoker novel, Dracula. The plot is quite simple, if you've read the book or if you've seen any of the other Dracula movies, well then that's exactly how this one pretty much plays out. You have a Jonathan Harker type character, Hutter? Hooter? Hooter? It's Hooter. German, so Hooter. 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 Yeah. He's charged with going to Count Orlok's castle to sell him some property in his town. Yeah. Cuts his finger and of all that course, type of stuff. Yeah. yeah, the same sort of thing. Nosferatu ends up taking a ship back to Germany, terrorizes the town a little bit. Different, though, than the book. The ending is different. Yeah, there's no stake through the heart or anything. Thomas Hooter's wife, she sacrifices herself and is bait for Nosferatu. She accidentally faints at the yeah. sight of him. He ends up draining her anyways. It's taken him too long to do it. You have the famous shot of him yeah, yeah. dissolving in the sunrise. It's a rookie mistake. How long have you been doing this for, yeah. man? Yeah, Nosferatu, you've been around for a long fucking time you don't remember what time to go to bed you know? <laughs> yeah exactly Bram Stoker's estate actually tried to sue the production company over the making of this movie because it was obviously a blatant ripoff of Dracula yeah urban legend whether or not they changed the names and the locations to avoid the copyright sue or if they did it to just make it more German for German audiences. To me, it seems like they did it to avoid a copyright uh, <laughs> dispute. Did actually go to court and Bram Stoker's estate won and the court actually ordered to destroy all copies of Nosferatu. Which is pretty crazy, yeah. actually. Enough copies survived where it did actually get released. Yep. And, you know, thank goodness it did because it was a horror classic that inspired a hundred years worth of horror movies and like gothic style visuals. The movie came out during the famous German Expressionist era where films like this were being made, right? You have movies like uh, Cabinet of Dr. Kilgari, Metropolis too, right? Just, yeah. to, just to mention a couple of them. Nosferatu basically single-handedly influenced a whole genre here. The Universal movies, mm -hmm. the early Dracula and Frankenstein, Wolfman, all bored heavily from this style. This movie has inspired countless other things. Music videos, bands, you know, all these albums called Nosferatu and songs called Nosferatu and the whole gothic look. Uncle Fester. Tim Burton has been influenced by Nosferatu. Look at Edward Scissorhands, you know? Exactly. He looks yeah. like a young punk Nosferatu before he lost his hair. The Nightmare Before Christmas? Jack Skellington. <laughs> exactly. Looks yep. a lot like Nosferatu. Slender Man. Yeah. Is, is obviously influenced by Nosferatu. Babadook, like mm -hmm. I could see tons of Nosferatu in the Babadook. Several other movies on the content of Nosferatu. Mm -hmm. So you got like a Shadow of the Vampire, fictionalized retelling of the making of Nosferatu, yeah. Yeah. where Nosferatu, played by Max Schreck, 
is actually a real vampire that they hired for this shoot. <laughs> right. It's a super cool movie. There's also the remake by Werner Herzog called Nosferatu the Vampire with Klaus Kinski as Nosferatu, and you can't get any better casting than that. <laughs> the next best thing to Max Shrek in the original is Klaus Kinski in the remake. He's so unnerving yeah. and creepy. Yeah. In the remake, they actually don't call him Count Orlock. He is called Count Dracula. But they do pull a twist, and the ending is a little different. You know, it's not the standard dissolving <laughs> in the sunset ending. What we do in the shadows, too, is actually a very good comedy based yeah. on... That whole the old the whole undead right yeah. the vampirism and stuff like that. Peter, the, uh, yeah, yeah, Peter, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's just like frozen yeah, yeah. <laughs> because yeah. he's so old. Exactly like Nosferatu. Yeah, e exactly. But also in TV, right? Are you afraid of the dark? Has that episode with that being coming out of the um, the, 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 movie the film screen? screen. Yeah, yeah, and it's Nosferatu. <laughs> right. So he has really left his mark on film film history and the horror genre. And I'm sure that he'll keep influencing yeah. things for, you know, yeah. for another hundred years. There's so many iconic shots and moments in that movie that are still referenced and kind of copied today, you know, mm -hmm. that that classic shot of the shadow going up the stairs, you know, like, yeah. till this day, I'm, people bore that left, right, and center. So lift our glasses in celebration to Nosferatu. Hopefully he lives on for another hundred years on top of this. <laughs> yep. It influences another hundred years worth of movies. With any luck. Yep. And uh, I don't know if I'll be finishing this $3 piece of shit cake. <laughs> Just throw this right in the garbage. But we will keep drinking. You damn right.